I'm drawing, uh, say yeah, when I'm drawing my uh, these rays, then I just have to make 45 mm line from these points, and I will have my uh, okay. This is 45 mm, so this goes. I'll start from here so that it does not get dirty. 45 mm, 45 mm, and 45 mm, and I will just connect them all. Okay, so this is it. Now I'll uh, do the notation part. How I'm going to do the notation part? It comes here. Okay, first of all, I'll make the dimensions. This height is 40. 5 mm which starts from the base itself and it is extended right up to where right up to this line so this is 45 mm okay this point this point first of all this base these four points would be the base so in the base i will use the numbers so this is one dash this is this is coming as as there will be two points, two and six will be there. So two dash and six dash. This point will be three and five. So three dash and five dash. And this point will be four dash. Then on the top, I will be having my alphabets. So this is A dash. It is coming from here. Here F and B will be there. So I am having B dash and F dash. Then here I will have C and E, C dash and E dash. And here finally I will have my D dash. Okay, so this is the solution of the problem that I have. And it is always advisable to draw the center line that is there. And you must always know that this donates a center line. So this is the solution of the problem that I have for my problem example number one in projection of solid. Now, do you remember when we uh, so we were solving uh, plane examples in uh, so, uh, hexagon examples in plane or pentagon examples in plane? What was the difference exactly then uh, between this solution and that solution? See, I'll exactly I'll in rough I'll draw the solution here so that you are, you understand that what is the difference between solid and uh, plane what happened was that I would have similar kind of uh, hexagon that is there all the sa same thing the only thing was that instead of the height uh, all this this whole thing is solid if I just if I make it rough a little bit this all thing is solid this is just I'm showing to illustrate to you that this is a solid matter that is present that you're seeing from the front but here what happened is that at uh, say a particular height say if, if I said that this plane was uh, the center of the plane is 35 mm away from uh, VP and it is an uh, it is above HP 45 mm so I would just have a straight line which would be at an height of 45 mm from XY so this thing you're seeing is of plane and this is the thing that you're seeing of solid so this is the difference another thing is that you can see that the front edges this is I'm viewing this particular solid from this way from this manner so what is happening is that I am I'll be able to see two and three when I am looking the solid from the front and this this and this edge or this and this slide would be exactly behind these lines which if if I turn the prism a little bit they will be visible as dotted lines so this you have to take care of a lot of care should be taken that which of the edges will be visible and which of the edges won't be visible and why I'm telling you this is because in our next problem we are going to have one of the edges which will not be visible and again I'll show you that by drawing the dotted line that this is the edge that is not visible that will be there in the third example so we'll look at it when we get there okay so now let's move on to the third example, uh, second example, I'm sorry. Yeah. Now we have a pentagonal pyramid. The pentagonal pyramid, side of base 30 mm and height 60 mm. So a pentagonal pyramid, 
the pentagon has side which is equal to 30 mm and the height of the pyramid that is the uh, distance between the base and the apex is 60 mm and it is resting on hp again so a similar kind of figure would be generated as first and the edge of the base is perpendicular to vp now the difference is that so the two differences between first and the second problem the first is that in the previous problem it was a hexagonal pyramid and uh, sorry it was a hexagonal uh, prism and here it is a pentagonal pyramid and the other difference is that in the previous problem the one of the uh, edges of the hexagon was parallel to vp here one of the edges of the base is perpendicular to vp so we'll have a different kind of a figure just by rotating it enough so that one of its side is exactly per perpendicular to vp now let's look at the isometric view of this uh, question that we are seeing now you can see that this is a pentagonal figure that I am having that is the base and this is the apex that we have so th and it is this base is exactly lying on HP so this uh, when I look at this this edge is exactly perpendicular to VP so this will be the position of my uh, pentagonal pyramid for this question now what other things that are given to me is the the height the distance is not given so I don't have to mention the distance that how far is it fr uh, from uh, VP it is not given in the previous question it was given and in this this question it is not given so I need not specify I can draw it at any distance from VP so when we discuss about front view and top view again I am looking at it from this end so this is the front view and I am looking at it from the top so I will have what I will have a pentagon with these lines which are visible and here here when I am looking at it I will have a uh, triangle with I will have basically two triangles and the other surfaces will be hidden so let's again come and uh, let's come to the papers and let's draw the solution for the problem okay first thing that we do always is draw the line xy after interpreting the problem of course now we have drawn this line x y so first of all again what I'll draw is I'll draw the pentagon first and I've drawn the pentagon before also in planes also so you uh, you know what will be the exterior angle of pentagon the exterior angle of pentagon would be 360 divided by how much divided by uh, here 5 5 y because it has pentagon has 5 sides so 5 uh, 360 divided by 5 is 72 degrees so each exterior angle would be 72 degrees okay so here again here the first thing that I'll do is I'll draw the center line which we should draw first done the coming coming to the pentagon I'll take any point uh, say I'll take the point here now my pentagon side is ba uh, side base is 30 mm so, so okay so I'll, uh, I'll draw the pentagon quickly similar thing I should always take the dimensions and then draw Okay, so this is the pentagon that I have. I, I'll quickly uh, label it as A, B, C, D, and E, and I'll mark the side. as 30 again the next thing that we did previously also I'll take the projectors again C and E on the same line D on the same line the base C AB is exactly perpendicular to XY now this XY is can be taken as VP so this AB is said to be perpendicular with XY or oh, sorry the vertical plane that is VP okay the height is given as 60 mm and it is resting on HP so again my 60 mm will exactly begin from this line XY
60 mm is 6 centimeters so a straight line of 60 mm here again a straight line of 60 mm and here again a straight line of 60 mm oh, I am really sorry uh, what we needed to do is I'll just correct the problem just beside so you'll know what that what uh, mistake I did I'll again draw the problem on the same page so that you'll know that uh, basically I was making I what a mistake I did it I ignored the fact that it is a pyramid rather than a prism and I was making a prism so the say I'll draw it here at the end of the paper again I will draw the center line Now in that center line, my free with free hand I will so look, okay, I'll use a scale 30 mm 30 mm 30 mm 30 mm and again 30 mm so this is uh, the pentagonal uh, base that I have and I'll name it as A, B, C, D and E. Again the same thing, I'll take the projectors E and C and this is D. I'll make it clear, D, yeah. And I will label them, this is A and B, this is C and E that is A dash and B dash C dash E dash and this is D dash now the height of this uh, uh, pyramid is given to me now height would be from th on this line I need to mark the apex that is here that is 6 centimeters above the line uh, above this uh, HP and uh, so I will have this point now all these points which I have marked that is uh, this A dash B dash C dash E dash and D dash have to be connected to this uh, this apex so when I connect them to this apex I will have my pentagonal pyramid surfaces this is the way and the center of the line I'll give the name it as O the center of the uh, hexagon and this will be O dash now as you can see again one of the surfaces is absent we have uh, two of the surfaces are absent one is B uh, one is B O that is this surface will be absent and the other surface that is O C will be absent so O sorry O E and O A will be absent so O E will be exactly behind O C and O a will be exactly behind ex o, o A will be exactly behind O B when I connect these points I will have my final solution which is there so this is how a pyramid has to be drawn now these lines have to be drawn why because this is basically you are seeing the tip of the triangle and the sides are always visible that these lines will be exactly visible and in contrast with this when we are having a prism then it is exactly a surface a plane that is there on the base or from the top so hence we vis we see no lines and here uh, in a pyramid we are having just a cone so it will the slides will gradually uh, extend to the periphery of the base so hence this pentagon that we are seeing is a base and this point and all these lines are getting connected so hence this is the solution for a uh, pyramid and this will be the solution for a uh, say uh, this uh, this is there for the pyramid and this is there for the prism and this uh, pent uh, hexagon the uh, pentagon that you're seeing if I draw if I'm drawing it from the prism then it will be the top that is the top surface that I'm seeing and in this case it is the base that I'm seeing so 
with this uh, the we have come to the end of the session because the time is run out in the next session we'll discuss one more problem that is left over from today and there later on uh, we will move on to the inclined uh, the axis inclined to one and then uh, with one reference plane and then uh, so axis of the uh, solid inclined with uh, more than one reference plane that is two reference plane so we'll meet next sunday again and now the time will be a slightly different uh, from 12 to 1 it won't be there it will be there from 1 to 2 just for the next sunday so be there with us we'll discuss more of it thank you